Hi, this is Chad at NoviSign, and today I'm going to show you a very nice example of a digital menu board system that has a very clean incorporation of videos, uh, scrolling tickers. And to get started, I'm going to hit play so we can do a quick little preview. And here in this example is a, a three-four screen video. Upper right here, we've got the video of the chicken wings going frying. On the bottom, we have a nice little ticker that's got daily specials. And then we've got the menu. Uh, the menu is set as a nice uh, three-column setup, sandwiches, plates, burgers, and wings. The overall layout is a very nice balance of black on white for the contrasting colors with an accent of yellow makes it easy to read C. As far as the menu itself and making changes, that can be done using NoviSense digital menu board software. It's cloud-based, and that means from any computer, you'll be able to put together the menu, make updates to it. All of the updates that you do on the computer will be wire wirelessly downloaded to the TVs using a media player. Um, we can talk about that later. As far as the menu itself and how to make changes, let's go into that. And this is our interface. So on the back end, you would go to your computer and log in. Um, this is the layout that we have put together um, that I previewed, and it's broken down into zones. So if I click on the video, I can move it all around. If I want to resize it, I simply resize it and move it. If you want to get rid of something, you delete it. Easy as that. As far as the text is concerned, that's drag and drop as well. So I can click and drag, move it around. I can change it, right? So on the right here, it says properties. So let's just say... Type in something new, hot dogs. There we go. I can change the colors. I can change the size and font. So it's very simple um, to put together. I can move this around again. Um, on the left are different widgets. Those are things that you can add. So we've got your images, text, videos, uh, slideshows, tickers, social media feeds, Instagram, Twitter. But primarily with menus, it's going to be a combination of text and images. Um, so let's say, for example, I wanted to add a slideshow, right? So on the left here, got the slideshow widget, click and drag, and then I can adjust it, right? So if I want to have a nice set of images rotating through, I just simply size it out. Then on the right here, I've got properties, so I can upload my images and videos. As far as file types, PNGs, JPEGs, um, all the standard files, you can upload them. So if you hit upload, just upload all of your files. Once you've got them uploaded, you can check off the stuff you want to show, and then hit insert. So there I've got my stuff. On the right, it says 10, so that represents seconds. So if I wanted to rotate through every three seconds, I just type in three and three. So now if I hit preview, we've got our slideshow of the chicken that I just uploaded, and it uh, rotates through very, very nice. So as you can see, it's super easy to navigate and put together. Um, outside of that, we do have a full library of templates. So here, if I hit create from library or create from template, it takes me here. I can filter the category to menu boards. Um, you can also change it. So if you want to have your menu displaying a portrait, you just swap it out to portrait. Then once you have your template that you like, right? So let's say, for example, I want this one, open it up, and bam, here it is. Uh, I can move it around and customize it. So if I wanted to maybe put a video here, drag over video, I can upload my stuff again. So there's our video. And if I wanted to change the prices and items, you can do that. So when it comes to putting together your menu, um, it's super, super e easy um, to do, right? Click, double click, type in your information, and you're done. Um, I mean, anybody can do it. It doesn't really matter the experience. It's just you know, kind of like a, a PowerPoint on steroids, I guess you could say. Um, outside of the menu creation, we do have the ability for scheduling and playlists. So let's say, for example, um, you have a breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? And you want it to play on specific times. So here's my two different layouts. If I want that one to play in the morning. Click on the little calendar, set recurring, right? So I can define six o'clock, seven o'clock. So it's super easy to pre schedule your stuff out. It gives you lots of flexibility. So if you have different special sales, promotions, day party, what have you, you can schedule it all out and the um, uh, systems will automatically download it and play it. Um, you can sign up for a free trial of NoviSign at NoviSign.com. Um, any questions, let us know. We're here to help you set up your digital menus. Thank you.